me that I'll be mixing like eight perfume oils together to make one scent. <laughs> so that's how <laughs> but I was spontaneous entered the car that they sent for me. Oh, all the love left my mm -hmm. From this video, you already know what's up, so let's just get into the video, okay? For those of you that don't know, I have known my husband for a very, very long time. We went to high school, uni, and we did our masters in the same uni as well, which was the uni that went for BSc. So I just think we went to high school and uni together. But we never dated or nothing like that, just hi, hello, hi, hi, hi. Actually, I can't remember us speaking throughout our time in Trinity. That was the high school we went to. Now, fast forward to uni, I saw him once or twice, but I was like, it was just, I think I said hi to him just once and, oh sorry I have a cold so if I kind of start funny that's why and I think he just said yeah, like he just nodded his head or something, I, I can't really remember so yeah from my recollection we didn't really speak as much in high school or in uni or even when he was doing his masters, that was, I was still, I was in 300 level when he finished his masters I believe so fast forward to November 2021 I was scrolling through IG and I see that he posts that oh he has been to was it six or seven different schools in his lifetime and I'm like what how that was the idea my sense I was like how did you move around so much and like why were you moving around so much so we had like small talk just oh yeah this that that, that. and I was like oh okay that's interesting that's really really nice and we kept it pushing <laughs> and then from there we just used to say oh hi hello what are you doing. So I was talking and then nothing serious because he was just looking at me with that junior girl eye that bell in my eye I said, Mr. I was just looking at him too as oh yeah that boy there is a spin stick for Red House <laughs> whatever then <laughs> fast forward to December 16th 2021 this man now goes ahead to post some fire pictures I'm going to be posting receipts throughout this video. So what happened? He posted this picture. I mean, like, I saw the picture, I was like, "Whoa, this is a beautiful man." Ah, the boy is serious, yo. Ah, he now is small matter. Oh, ah, the boy is fine. Seeing limp. When I saw that picture, I said, "Ah, no, 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 my dear, no, 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 no." <laughs> I sent a message to my sister, and I was like, "Let me see if I can find it." I just want to introduce you to my husband. He just. Really he doesn't know it yet, but he's going to marry me. Prepare your show every day. 2023 removed. Engagement is next year though. Now, obviously I was just talking out of my ass. At this point, I didn't even like him. Like I just he was just fine. I just liked what I saw. I didn't know who he was. So I sent a message to my sister. She's like, wait, what are you guys dating? I said no, but does that matter? And then I said, I told this one happy birthday and he replied me with dear. He doesn't know dear will soon become wifey. Like I said, I didn't even like him at this point. I just liked that he was a fine man. The picture was ah, shout out to Anu. That picture. Beautiful. I just started replying and she's like, but well, Mao, Shebi doesn't have you don't get a girlfriend. I said, I wouldn't know, but you don't get wife, so anyway, so that whole period, yeah, I was in Pashada's house. So I go to Pashada and I'm like my guy, he get one mouth for Instagram with the entire my eye. But then I was like, he's, he's not a stranger dude. Like I know him. We went to high school. So I should give her the whole like rundown of everything that happened, like how I know him and everything. And she was like, oh, I'm going to send him a DM. I said, as that how? As in, what caused that? Why would you even? Uh, 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 why would you even think it and say that you won't send him a DM for what? I was like, no, we don't send him a DM, please. Then she goes, oh yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I won't send him a DM. Now tell me why like two to three days after this girl is like, oh yeah, um so did I tell you I sent Suki a DM and um I set up a date for you guys, he's single, so yeah, you guys have a date plan, so find something to wear. Bro, I <laughs> I said what the hell do you mean by that? Like you must be a joker because you and I know that that's not going to happen. For clarity, his nickname is Suki. So that was what we called him. I called him Suki for a very, very long time. First I called him Chris. So many times in the vi in this video you might hear me call him Suki. So anyway, I messaged my sister, Christabel, and I'm like, get on the internet right now. I forgot to add that in the meantime, like a crazy person, I already started calling him my husband. So like if I was to talk about him to like my sister or my <laughs> my friends are just like, oh yeah, so my husband posted on Instagram today. Oh my husband, can you call him? Call? Oh my husband, like just jokingly calling him my husband, right? Because I just come from 
something. Because <laughs> I'm not going to call it the relationship. I'm not going to call it the value of the shadow of death. And I had seen evil. So I was not looking to actually be in a relationship with anybody. But this was nice banter to have with my friends and everything. So like, at this point, I had introduced him to almost everybody in my life. And I said, oh yeah, my husband, my husband, yeah, my husband. Mm. But everybody knew I wasn't serious because, like I said, I'd already been through a lot. <laughs> I was coming from a lot, so I was like, I was not ready for a relationship, but it was nice bands, like everyone knew it was bands. So I messaged my sister, now let's go back to Pashada telling me that she told him that we're going to go on a date. I messaged my sister and I'm like, come online, right? Now I have this, and she's like, Shh, I've been aggressive with someone, what happened, man? I said, bro, Pashada sent my husband, my husband, a message and we have a date. She was like, no way, no freaking way. What? 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 I'm sorry. I was like, yes, freaking way. <laughs> I was excited, but I was so nervous. So I was like, laugh at so bro. I had a whole fever when she told me. Semi freak out. I evaporated. Christopher replies and she's like, bro, I'm evaporating right now. <laughs> I did the next thing. She was like, ooh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. The day didn't end up happening. Oh. But, 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 but it was for a good reason. So he invited Ife, Pashada and I out to <laughs> to a Christmas party that year. Like that was happening. Mind you, this is so 16th was when I saw his picture and I was like, oh, it's the fine man. I told Pashada, I told my sister, started calling him my husband. 25th was when he invited us over for a Christmas party that his friend was having. So we go for the Christmas party and mind you, we already had plans. We already had plans, if you have and I, we were going to go to our other friend's house to spend Christmas. I think it was, he was also having like a Christmas get together or something like that. So we're like, okay, we'll just stop by at Suki zone and then go from there to our other friend's own um, Christmas party. So <laughs> when we go to Suki zone, in my heart of hearts, brethren, I knew I was open anyway. I knew that this is where I stay and we go back to my house later in the night so from christmas party it wasn't far from his house at all so he was like oh let's just scroll i said scroll stroll back to my to mine and then by that time if you and Pasha had already left they went for the other person's christmas party since i was not going to go it was just both of us and for some reason i didn't feel like oh i need to hide i need to protect myself like i just felt very very safe right don't do this when you're missing somebody you don't know one two even if it's somebody you know, please and please. Eh? Even if you feel safe. Like, don't go to anybody's house, please. I know a lot of young girls are watching my video. It's not a sign if the person was your senior, please, I beg you. This, see, let me just say like, what I did was risky. Because who knows? The fact that he was raised by a Christian mother, went to the same school and everything, does not mean that <laughs> he couldn't have lost his brain or his head somewhere along the journey. I would have just followed the serial killer to his house. So don't do it, okay? That's not my advice to you. Don't follow anybody to their house, right? But I did. <laughs> I followed this young man. I said, oh, where are you coming from there? Oh, yeah, so we first... Okay, so we first went to his house before we went for the party. So we went to his house because the party had not yet started. The Christmas party. So we went there, we chilled for a bit. Me, Pasheda, Ife. I think Ife was there. Or Ife came and met us. Yeah, Ife came and met us at the house, I think. I can't remember, but something she made us go to his house first before the party so Pasha already knew where his house was here yeah. so anyway as I was saying I didn't feel like any trouble in my spirit like I shouldn't go or anything so we got to his house and he was like he was such a gentleman he was like oh um, I remember you from Trinity like ah, you grow you grown up to be such a beautiful woman like ah, you're such a fine girl now it was a very 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 nice evening so much so that <laughs> I was not looking at the time to see that we that left the house by past nine for Christmas party, that time was going. I had not checked the time. <laughs> red Red was like past 12, like well past 12. I was like, oh, I need to get an Uber. Meanwhile, this whole time, Pasha has messaged me, texted me. My phone was somewhere. And I said, I need to go, oh, I need to get an Uber. Blah, blah, blah. He was like, oh, okay. We checked for Uber. No drivers available. I said, <sighs> anyway, we continue talking, you know, this talk, 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 talk. Jackie's. And then. <laughs> God, my mother is going to watch this video. <laughs> Mommy, I'm so sorry. Like, you know, now I'm married, it turned out well, so don't be offended. <laughs> anyway, so that happened, but he was a really, really gentleman. He was nice and everything. Now, I woke up the next day. I wake up like a crackhead. Let me tell you guys now. So, this is how I wake up. <laughs> this is how I wake up, you guys. 
<laughs> and then I just sit and I stay for a while. Like I just. But immediately I woke up, I knew that I rise and run. Like I just say, you cannot see me in this state. Uh, 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 uh. So immediately I just woke up, I just I packed my bag, packed my stuff, and I just went straight back to Pashela's house because I was living in Pashela's house. Like, no. I was squatting with Pashada at the time because I was working on the island and I was living on the mainland so it's like a journey and then there's always traffic, it was very very stressful so I was staying over at Pashada's house at the time, she lived not too far away from Suki and not too far from my office so I went back to Pashada's house and trust me, I went to go and download just I see hey, my good sis mm. I was like, oh we had a nice conversation, we, we were chatting just, 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 just for a long time now this 27th comes, he doesn't message me. Ha! I say, 26th, he did not, oh yeah, he messaged me on the 26th to say, have you gotten home, um, hope you're safe, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, I'm home, I'm safe, whatever. No message me to check on me, 27th. <laughs> anyway, so, <laughs> 29th of December, he messages me and he's like, um, how spontaneous are you? <laughs> Somebody that's not so good to me since. Anyway, immediately I saw that message. You see me and you, <laughs> how spontaneous am I? I can drop to America. I'm Barney, <laughs> the spontaneous dragon. <laughs> Call me Mrs. Ponty. <laughs> After like maybe 10 minutes, I replied and I was like, depends. <laughs> and he was like, okay, so um, we're having a party at the beach house. You should come through. Um, I was like, okay, send me the send me the location, right? Mind you, I'm in Ikeja. This man lives. On the island, this party, eh, this get together was like on the other side of the island. <laughs> but I did not know the distance. Let me say it like that. Like I didn't really grasp how far I was going to go. He said with the location. Immediately I saw the location. I said I cannot drive this drive. Then I went to boat and I saw the price. Oh, all the love left my. <laughs> I said, oh, and I was sent to him and I was like, oh, um, I just checked the location and I can't drive there. And he was like, um, I never said anything about you driving. I'm sending the car to come and get you. I said, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> because God knows me, eh, 18,000 to go with a beach party. <laughs> I will buy the sun and put it in my home. The beach party, 18k. Anyway, that's how I sent the car to come and get me. I carry my things. Mind you, I didn't know why I was being funny this December. Time was like maybe 8 when I left the house. So that's how, <laughs> but I was spontaneous, entered the car that they sent for me. And I started to go <laughs> to where I don't know. <laughs> Bro, like now that I think of it, I'm like, what the hell was wrong with me? Anyway, so I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> I passed my shadow's house. <sighs> I said, it's a distance, so <laughs> we're still going. I passed, was it, um, what's this place? Mega chicken. Ha! I say, <laughs> I asked the person that was driving me, I said, okay, this place that we're going, should we, we're not going to reach Cameroon. <laughs> he said, no, that is just inside, inside. <laughs> He's in a new government land. I said, <laughs> I said, okay, well, maybe they go. <laughs> That's how we kept on going. You know, we now reached one place. There was just bush, bush, bush. I said, hey, they have carried me for a job. <laughs> no, by the way, I was not paranoid. I, I just I knew that we were going to a beach house. So it was going to be like quite a distance, but I did not expect that distance. So anyway, finally, around like I don't even know what time I read today. I shall go there. This was far. <laughs> and it was inside, 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 inside. I, I said, where is this place that you carried me to? He was like, oh, it's called... I can't remember the name of this. I was like, oh, okay. But I'm not like, when I saw him, I said, oh, I want your hands, man. He's a handsome young fellow. <laughs> anyway, he shall talk to the driver or whatever, and then like, we went inside. It was a nice speech, it was alright. And then we had the party, and like, it was so nice. It wasn't really a party, it was like, I would say it was like a get together type of situation. There were fireworks, it was really, it was really nice. <coughs> Again, I lose track of time. Anyway, at this point I sent Pachada my vacation and everything. Anyway, pause. Before meeting Chris and all this, after the relationship I had before that I told you who was bad of child of death. <laughs> I read to Pachada that I'm not doing relationship anything. I don't want to be in a relationship for at least another two years. Like I need to breathe. I need time to myself and everything. So mind you, I'm not looking at Chris with relationship eyes. 
at this point at all we had a really really good time at the beach party like it was actually really nice i was expecting that when i get home you will message me oh he did message me actually he said oh um have you gotten home are you safe he always that was one thing he will always check on me to see if i got to know if i was safe maybe so that if something happens to me do not say oh the last place where she was was in this boy's house <laughs> anyway so he asked me oh are you home are you safe blah, blah blah i was like yeah 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 i'm safe and mind you chris is a terrible texter you can send me a message now he will open it he might reply with one word meanwhile what he really mean, okay like let me give you an example he sent me a message like okay so today i did blah blah blah, blah. he replied i'm like oh that's cool Meanwhile, if you were talking to him, you were like, ah, oh, that's cool. So, like, what did you want? So, when did you for texting? I don't know if he's a lazy texter or if he's just bad at it. So, anyway, I didn't communicate with him via text. Fast forward to after that conversation of, um, did you get home safe? I said, yeah, I got. Mind you, me too. I started keeping it one word, one word because I thought that he just had, like, there was something wrong with his head. Anyway, so, I mean, so I replied in one word, one word. So, he said, oh, did you get home safe? I just replied, I was like, yeah, he was like, I, mm -hmm. all right, I have it, okay. That was the end of the conversation. After the good time we had in at the beach party, I'm talking fireworks, literally, water gone. You know what this is like? Play, play that we used to play when we were small. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, there's something wrong with this guy. Anyway, a few days passed, but it felt like months. I'm never going to lie. Because every time we saw, it was a good time. Like, he was funny, we were both laughing. It was really, really nice. So anyway, <laughs> after a few days, he calls me and he's like, mm, Madam, I will not come to you calls me. Eh? Yes, 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 yes. I will not come to you calls me, Abby. Then I started laughing. My date is just open my mouth. Ha, ha, ha. And then that's how I've been laughing since then. Just laughing, hee, <laughs> hee. So anyway, that's how we continue talking that day. It's my date is outside laughing, laugh that I've not laughed before. <laughs> we just keep talking every day, every day, every day from then. And my birthday comes around and tell me why this man forgot. <laughs> he forgot my birthday. He actually remembered, but then he forgot because we we're just talking about it like the day before, and then he now forgot the day off. So that day on my birthday, he called me. It was a Saturday, I remember. He called me and we were talking, you no, know, no, just no, I was waiting for him to I was waiting for the happy birthday. I thought it was a prank. I was waiting, waiting, nothing. I said, okay. So as the call was about to end, as in, I waited, I waited till bye bye. As the call was about to end now, I said, what's today? He was like, today is Saturday, your birthday, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I was like, okay, cool, anyway, I have things to do, bye, back on the phone. <laughs> I said, it is my time to shine. <laughs> anyway, so, he's calling, 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 calling. I'm like, Ed, I didn't keep call, nothing. I was not really angry, to be honest, I was not angry, but... <laughs> I was enjoying the attention now, so <laughs> so I just kept on like airing his calls. Throughout the day, he's calling me non-stop and like just trying to get through to me, sending texts and everything. And I'm just being a hard hit. <laughs> but I was enjoying the fact that I knew that ah, you they reason me every hour, you they call my phone, blasting my phone off, calling me on myself. You know, brunette. <laughs> Calling me on my cell phone like like I'm the US government. <laughs> anyway, so come to find out, he calls Pasheda. And then he said, Oh, see what happened though. Like, I forgot her birthday, blah blah blah. What should I do? Where are you guys? This and that. So Pasheda now told him, Oh, this is where we are, this and that and that. So me, I didn't know about this. So he now comes that day to where we were with cake. It was red velvet and chocolate and ice cream and like it was just you know when you eat something and you know that this thing is going go, it's gonna run my stomach and hair that kind of cake so he came with it and then he surprised me I was like what are you doing here so he was like I'm sorry I missed your birthday blah blah blah, blah. anyway so <laughs> so he ends up driving us from where we were back to Pashada's house so Pashada then go upstairs and then I'm just sitting in the car with him and then I was like yeah so I just want to know for like my sake or I, th I, th I think I just want to know for clarity's sake or something like that what do you want from what we have going on I was like nothing I like what we have going on I like the casualty of it I don't want anything because it's not me that will tell you that me and one relationship you know <laughs> you can't food so I'm like yeah I don't want anything just let's keep it casual <laughs> in my heart I said God oh. 
Yeah. Anyway, so we continued having conversations, 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 and then in February, I lost my grandma. And when that happened, I remember that I didn't, I didn't know how to feel. I didn't know how to process how I felt. But I just knew that I wanted to be in his house, so I wanted to be around him. So I messaged him. I'm like, Are you at home? Are you busy? Are you free? Whatever, whatever. He was like, Please come over. I'm at home. So I came over, and then I saw him, and then he looked at me. I was like, What's wrong? And I was like, My grandma died. He was like, Oh. So we just went like to the um, sitting room that day. Not too much to talk. I don't think we said up to like how many sentences to each other. He just like hugged me, and I cried. And I just cried and cried and cried. I cried for hours. Like, and then he just played music and he was so patient. He didn't say anything. He just allowed me to wash all that emotion away. That was a very, very monumental time in our relationship. After that, the next week or so, he's like, oh, um, let's go to life house be together. So we went. It was such a good time for me because I really, really needed to calm down because there was work stress, there was my grandma dying, there was just me not feeling good. So he took me to Lighthouse Beach. I think we got there for like, I'll say 12, and then we left by 7. So it was a full day, we had a nice time, everything. Now remember this, because it's going to come up again later, Lighthouse Beach. After this, uh, my grandma dying period and everything, he would check on me more often. Then like he knew I was okay, I was fine and everything. And then <laughs> I forgot I was doing my makeup. And then um, we just decided to have more conversations. But it wasn't like I won't say we had serious conversations. We just had more conversations where we just talk, 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 And we used to talk for long. Like once he calls me, I already know that like suspend every other activity <laughs> because we most likely will not be getting on the phone anytime soon. So in March we we're talking and then he was like I like you this girl. I was like mm. <laughs> Meanwhile before this year anytime we will talk because both of us are this you know when he asked me in January like what do you want from this I was like nothing I just want like a friendship or whatever. So since then whenever we talk He'll be like, don't go and fall in love with me, or don't go and fall in love. But I say, you, you don't know when you fall in love, now you go go break leg. So, yeah, that was just a running joke. So, when he said, oh, I like you, this guy, I say, hey! <laughs> so, after the jokes and everything, I was like, oh, yeah, I like you. So, I have feelings for you that past friendship. So, yeah. So, after we now said, okay, well, so we are on the same track. We are, we are not fooling each other again. Now, the next thing to do is. So start clearing our plates. Obviously, I would have been a fool to think that he was not talking to other people when he was talking to me. <laughs> of course, he was talking to other people. So between March and whenever, clear your plates. Me too, I said, okay, me too, I'll clear my plates. But I was not really talking to anybody like that. The only person I was talking to, we did not really do any declaration of feelings. But I knew it wasn't going to work out because he was far away from me. I'm talking far, he was in the UAE. I just knew that it wasn't going to work out, but he was so, like a solid guy. But the distance was the problem. Like I said, there was no declaration of love or I want to date you or anything with that relationship. So I wasn't going to even cut him off or anything. But for some reason, we just stopped talking. I don't know what happened. Anyway, but then there were like other people that I was entertaining their attention. So I had to like cut that off. And yeah, that was it for me. But you see that Christopher, Chris, Chris will get Bible belt of women. <laughs> Chris, Chris had a lot of work to do. So he needed time. So sometime in April, I kind of could sense that like, okay, I'm the only person he's talking to. We just started to have more serious conversations like, this one was not more laugh laughful. I mean, we're still laughing, but like, <laughs> we're still laughing, but like, we're having way more serious conversations. Now we're talking family, finances, spirituality, um, children, marriage, like, really, really principles, like things that actually matter. Before we used to talk about this, like, things that, <laughs> that kind of thing. But then we started having like the serious conversations. Um, number of children, okay, I said children, number of children want to have, um, how, raise children if we were to have to like everything see i'm talking deep conversations trauma past sadness this one that like really really deep things so i knew that okay this is not more play <laughs> anyway sometime in june it now goes oh like i think we should take some time off to rest let's um let's go somewhere i'm like okay where he was like let's go to lighthouse beach but we'll spend the night there i said okay so this time i was prepared you know i carried Things that I should carry, nighty looking. 
So we go to Lighthouse Beach. It was a really, really nice day. Like it was nice out and everything. Like it was just beautiful. So we're there, we're chilling, I'm taking videos of him, we're laughing and smiling. <laughs> so we had breakfast, lunch, dinner. After dinner, he's like, oh, let's walk to the um beach, the waterfront. So I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Mm. I was so happy, I said let's go. So we walked there. He backed me. <laughs> 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 so we get to the beach front, we're talking, talk, talking, and then he's like, um, I've actually been like a source of light in my life. Um, since you came into my life again, I'm really happy that we're connected, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> and I hope we did it. Let's go. <laughs> So he just said, Oh, anyway, I want to ask you, will you be my girlfriend? I said, Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> ah, ah. You are falling in love, true, true. <laughs> I was just so silly about the whole thing. And he was like, No, for real, like, will you be my girlfriend? I said, Yes, now. <laughs> How did I say no? Of course, I said, Yes. Uh -uh. Are you be your girlfriend now? <laughs> Is that why you bring me over the sea? <laughs> Bro! Anyway, so that was how you asked me out. Aww. So at this point, I'm like, okay, huh, let me just say I don't want a relationship. I've gone from no wanting relationship to jumping into a relationship. But then it felt really good to be like with him. One thing about him that I I always loved from the beginning was how safe I always felt. Physically, mentally, whatever. I always felt safe with him, and he's a very kind and considerate person. He's he's a good man. Then he's a good man. You can tell that he was raised well. So after having a girlfriend now, and I, <laughs> and I came back always to get Pasha like the gist if everybody everybody else so happy. Then I remember that Pasha around me was like, ah, um, that one brand is asking her for a ring size, so she don't forget to. That was the ring size again, because we wear the same size. I was like, size 8 now. Fast forward to, I can't remember where Pasha and I were. And she was just looking at me. She was like, and Pasha is not mushy. So she was like, I was always doing you. She was like, I'm just happy for you. I was like, okay. <laughs> then I was like, what's wrong with you? Just being weird. So, come to find out that this whole time, because Pasha already knew the ring I wanted, because I was wanting all my friends knew my ring from like 2020. I said, everybody, this is the ring. Whenever some of you go, everyone wants to put ring comes, this is the ring you should, they should make for me. And so, they didn't have the ring readily available at the company where I got the picture of the ring from. So, Chris had to make it custom. So they started making the ring in July <laughs> and it was in August, I can't remember that. Of course I don't know the dates for sure, I just know bits and pieces because of what like Pasha has told me and all that. So in December, Hisha plans a trip for us to go to Paris. Mm. I say Paris. Hey, I never go to Europe before, oh, I never go to Europe before. <laughs> ah, I just apologize to my mother in this video so many times <laughs> because I'm embarrassing this woman like this. So anyway. Paris. I say ah, Paris. Brethren in my heart, ah, Paris. That's how true true. I landed and entered Paris. I say Paris. Ah. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. It did not cross my mind once that this trip was for engagements. I thought holiday, boyfriend, girlfriend things. I don't say ah, I've reached this point in my life where I can vacate with boyfriend the day that like the thought entered my brain was the day he said oh we've not gone out since, since we've been here we've not gone out for anything and um, gang gang let's go out thank god i already packed an outfit that in case maybe you want to go for dinner because on all this like he is very like that like we'll just dress up and go out for dinner so i said in case you want to go for dinner let me pack this one so that's what i ended up wearing hey jesus <laughs> The member, the emperor, the champion, the champion is here. <laughs> okay, you guys already seen my engagement. If you watched my vlogmas day one, my engagement story time is there, but I'll just run through it now. So we get to the hotel. You say you want to go and I say okay. You know, okay, my be roses, I be flower bouquet, a ring. Ring! I say ah! I say we are serious. Why 
serious ladies. <laughs> so he proposed and everything and it was such a nice a nice proposal. I can't I still think that's one of the best days of my life, like my entire life. So yeah. That's the story of how I met my husband. Okay, if you watch this video to this point, thank you for watching. Make sure you give this video a huge like. Let's see if we can get this video to like 100 likes. What do you guys think? Can we do 100 likes? Maybe. Let's see. So let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. Make sure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Drop your comments. Take a screen recording or like make a recording or whatever of your favorite part of this video and post it on your IG stories. Tag me at Beleva Guru. Let's discuss one on one in the DMs. So anyway, yeah, that was how I met my husband. You know, and that's how I'm still the way I was laughing then at his jokes. I'm still laughing now. Just what means it laughing. Every day laughing. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I met my sweet man. He's really a god sent man. Like ah like continue, we will not finish. This video will be too long. But yeah, that's how I met my husband. And his birthday is on the 16th of December. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. <laughs> Bye guys!